In the past, we used to think of chronic mild hyponatremia as a benign condition. However, we know now that even those chronic milder degrees of hyponatremia are associated with increased risk of uh, morbidity in the form of uh, neurocognitive deficits, in the form of uh, in, uh, gait disturbances, uh, frequent falls, uh, osteoporosis, and even and fractures. So there are many therapies that we use to treat hyponatremia. However, uh, most of these therapies uh, lack evidence uh, support. Uh, there is only one type of medication that has uh, evidence in the form of randomized controlled trials, and those are the vasopressin receptor antagonists, or BAPTANs. The use of BAPTANs has some pros and some cons. The pros are that it's an uh, effective medication, has been shown in, in randomized controlled trials that is effective. Um, but the problem is that there is no evidence to support the use of BAPTANs beyond just increasing the plasma sodium concentrations. And the problem is that the BAPTANs are very expensive and therefore sometimes when you look at cost-benefit, it's not probably beneficial to use the BAPTANs since we know that it's not going to have a significant benefit for the patient. Uri is actually not a new medication, it's an old medication that has been used in Europe since the early 1980s. However, in the U.S. it's available since July 2016. The FDA doesn't consider urea as a drug, it considers it as a supplement or a medical food. So you can actually acquire urea without a medical prescription. We uh, adopted the use of urea in the inpatient formulary at UPMC since July of last year. And since then, we have been using urea with good uh, results. So a group of, uh, of nephrologists in our division decided to do a more serious study, and what we're looking is retrospectively looking at the efficacy, safety, and tolerability of urea in the patients that we, we treat in the hospital. And from our experience, we hope that we'll see uh, a significant result uh, in terms of the efficacy of urea in hyponatremia. In terms of the future for therapies for hyponatremia, what we're aiming for is to try to find a medication that do not only increase the serum sodium concentration, but also will decrease these bad outcomes, decrease uh, mortality and decrease morbidity. And I think we need a, a large study that compares not only the BAPTANs, but other medications such as urea head to head. So we can know which one of these medications that we use commonly is better by decreasing these outcomes.